So, according to Ian Bigley of SNY TV Sports New York, I believe it is, the Dallas Mavericks have been calling up the Detroit Pistons about Nerlens Noel. Nerlens Noel is on a $9.2 million deal. Also, I'm at work right now, so hopefully I can get rid of all this background noise. But, Nerlens Noel is on a $9.2 million deal. There's a team option for next year. Dallas is interested in reacquiring him, as you guys know. He was good in his first half of his time in Dallas, and in the second half when he came back, there was a mix of supposedly Rich Paul screwed him over and Rick Carlisle screwed him over. I don't know if anybody has more information on that story. But Nerlens Noel was a top draft pick, number one player in the country when he was in high school. And he's a guy that, like, per 36 is like two blocks, two steals a game, and like a double-double guy. He's a beast. He definitely would help out JaVale McGee. And he hasn't played at all, really, this season. I think it's like six games he's appeared in. And straight up, what you could do is probably just do Dwight Powell for Nerlens Noel. That way, Detroit gets an expiring contract in Dwight Powell. Then you get yourself here, Dallas, maybe attach a second round pick to it, to Dwight Powell. You get yourself Nerlens, who, if you want you want to keep him around, you, he has a team option for next year. And if you don't like what he does, you decline it, and he's an expiring contract. But I have nothing against Dwight Powell. I just think Nerlens Noel can do exactly what Dwight gives you on offense, plus way more defense. Now, the other trades that could be done, I doubt a Maxi Kleba day. It will all have to be expiring contracts unless they were trying to use this to be a salary dump, but I doubt that they would do that. And I doubt that they're trading JaVale McGee. So really the only candidate that I see on this roster quite possibly be traded is, you know, Dwight Powell. And it's nothing against Dwight Powell. It's just like last time New Orleans Noel played with the Knicks in, in 25 games, or even if you just combine 2020 and 2021, 23 minutes a night, four points, six rebounds, you know, one and a half blocks, a steal a night. And that that would definitely be you know helpful for a Dallas Mavericks team that they're getting six points, four rebounds right now from Troy Powell and not even a block or a steal a game. So right there, in theory, that would help. The Dallas Mavericks replacing Dwight Powell. Nothing against Dwight Powell, but it's just, you know, it's been said that they've touched base. They're talking about it. And they could get a, a rim protector that could help them out. And JaVale McGee, you know, it's he lost a starting spot nine games into the season. And he's wrecked up five, you know, did not play coach decision. So it's supposedly that Begley writes that Noah, the former Knicks, has drawn interest from several contending teams that have been struggling with rim protection. And he's a guy that you should be looking at that could end up on the move as we near. For his career, Nerlens Noel averaged 7.3 points, 6.2 rebounds, and one and a half blocks in 22.3 minutes per game. And obviously his fit with the Dallas Mavericks, especially with Jason Kidd, is much better this time around, not only for what they specifically need and what he can bring to the table, but they got Luka Doncic there. So, I think definitely it'll be interesting to see how it works out. Let me hear you guys' thoughts down below. And what would be your package or deal for Nerlens Noel? I just really think it has to be Dwight Powell. Maybe you include a second round pick. I doubt you include anything more. But let me know.